It is known to us that students take a lot of stress before exam which eventually affects their results and behavior. We also know that anxiety is an abstract means it is not measurable in a predefined scale. Now the question arises how are we going to do such a task? Answer is we will be using EEG signal which have a range of frequencies and voltages which in turn makes it a defined scale. So it can be used to identify anxiety. All right. Let's have a look at the problem set. We are trying to identify the exam related anxiety in students which occurs due to hypertension and other factors so that we can take precautionary measures to reduce stress before the students either collapse or harm themselves. First and foremost question is what is anxiety? The most simplest way to make you understand the term anxiety is it's a natural response of a body due to stress. It's the feeling of fear or apprehension of what is to come. The grounds of anxiety in students can come about through a lot of reasons. For example, lack of confidence, lack of focus, or lack of knowledge. The consequences of anxiety in students can be both physiological and psychological. Physiological that affects as in high blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, heartbeat and whole autonomic nervous system. And the other consequence is psychological that results in the change of personality traits, behavior, attitude, impending results and in addition to all the foregoing the major effect could be memory loss in a student. As previously mentioned, we are identifying anxiety through EEG signals. So let's start with what is EEG. It is an abbreviation of electroencephalography. Electro means relating to electrical signals. Encephal or encephalo is a term used to discuss the things related to brain. Flowing ahead to the first part of EEG, which is electro. There are basically five types of brain waves named as delta, theta, alpha, beta and gamma having the frequency range of 0.5 to 40 hertz. Moving on to the next segment of the EEG that is encephal in which we will discuss the brain parts through which the electrical signals are supposed to be extracted. These parts are frontal, parietal, temporal and occipital lobes. We are using the internationally recognized 1020 system. The EOG was recorded above and below the left eye for artifact removal. Data was collected from the seven electrodes from the electrode cap. Firstly, we acquired the number of samples from 10 different subjects. Secondly, we removed the outliers to make the signal more refined. Then the signal is filtered from bandpass filter. The next process is to determine the correlation of the filtered signal with the channels. This would help in identifying that which brain lobe has strong correlation with exam related anxiety in students.